Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So this is the last um, tutorial that I'm going to be doing on surface area, just an introduction, in-depth introduction um, when it comes to surface area, okay? And in this video tutorial, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can basically calculate the surface area of a cube, okay? If you're basically given a cube, okay, if you were to just focus on just one face of that cube, right, we already know that, okay, just if you just look, uh, focus on um, this top face of the cube, okay, we can just see that, okay, this cube, the faces of our cube are actually squares, okay? right so if you wanted to now calculate the surface area of this cube we just need to take into consideration how many faces do we have right and because we've got the top and the bottom which is two the side and the side which is another two the front and the back is another two we have a total of six faces okay so when you wanted to just calculate now the surface area of a cube you already know that you are going to be calculating the total areas of all these six faces okay and what's very important that you guys need to note when you're dealing with a cube is that the dimensions are the same the length of this cube the height of this cube the width of this cube all of the length right the height the width all of these dimensions are basically the same okay and because of this it just simplifies our life when it comes to calculating um, the total or the surface area of this cube. Why am I saying this? Okay, to calculate now the surface area of a cube, okay, that has the same dimensions, okay, we already know that, okay, if, if you're given a particular length L, and we know that the width is also L, and the height is also L, okay, we just know that, okay, the dimensions are the same so we are actually dealing with a cube and not a rectangular prism okay so how would we go about calculating the surface area of this particular cube we'll just say then the surface area is going to be equal to all that you need to do here is just calculate the area of one face okay how would we calculate the area of just one face right what would we do because we already know that that face is a square how did we calculate the area of a square remember we said that the area of a square was just length multiplied by the length okay remember we said area of a square is just length multiplied by length or length squared but now because we already know that we've got how many faces six faces that have the same dimensions how would we calculate the surface area it'll just be six multiplied by length times length okay or we can just write it as six l squared and that is how we calculate the surface area of a cube without having to add take the top area length times length plus length times length plus length times length plus length times length plus like you know you can just say six length times length because you already know that the dimensions are the same you are given a square all of these faces are squares so if you can just calculate the area of just one of those um, faces okay you just take the area of that one face multiplied by six and that will basically give you the surface area of that whole entire cube nice easy straight to the point that's why i ended off with the cube okay so now let's just put this into practice let us calculate the surface area of a particular cube okay so you're given the following cube and you're asked to calculate the surface area of this cube so just think of it it's like a closed cube okay we've got all the faces there it's a closed cube how would we then calculate the surface area okay we already know that to calculate the surface area of a cube let's say they gave us that the length of this cube 
is just five meters, right? So this is a big cube, okay? How would we calculate the surface area? We just know that we can just calculate the area of just my uh, one face. We already know that this face, right? What is the shape of that face? It is a square. All of these faces, right, are square shaped, okay? So if you can just calculate the area of just um, that one face, right, which is length multiplied by length okay you can just multiply it by six to get the total areas of all the faces because all the faces have the same dimension so you just multiply it by six so it's going to be six multiplied by l squared so it's going to be six what is our l it's five meters all squared if you punch this into your calculator, six multiplied by okay, guys, you don't need yeah, six multiplied by five squared is actually equal to is actually equal to 150. Remember, the units for surface area is meters squared. Okay, remember, guys, these surface area calculations depend on your question. Sometimes they might ask you to calculate the surface area of a, a box right that is a cube shaped box right that does not have the top lid there or the bottom lid there so you need to be careful as to then if you don't have the top um, lid of your box how would you then get the total areas of all the faces that just means that if you don't have the top lid you just have five faces so if you can just calculate the area of just one of the face multiplied by five, five that gives you the surface area so just be careful there it depends on the context okay but in general if you're just calculating surface area of a cube closed cube it is just six multiplied by l squared and then from there it becomes super easy because we know that we're just going to substitute all the values into our formula and we are going to be given our answer okay and that is it guys when it comes to surface area i hope you guys appreciated all the video tutorials that i basically did for you guys when it comes to calculating the surface areas of your um given shapes we started off with the rectangular prism okay i showed you guys how we derived that formula or how they came up with that formula that we use to help us calculate the surface area of a rectangular prism okay we also looked at an example together where we were required to calculate the surface area of a closed rectangular prism we also looked at calculating the surface area of a cylinder okay if you are just given a cylinder that is closed right how did we calculate the surface area of that cylinder okay taking notes you've got the two circles there okay mal uh, plus that area of that part there and i showed you guys how you can basically calculate the area of that part there i also explained to you guys how we can go about calculating the surface area of a cylinder that has no lid okay what are we supposed to do there how do we derive that formula that we're supposed to use to help us calculate the surface area of a cylinder that has no lid and also guys we ended it off with then calculating the surface area of a cube okay taking into consideration that if we are given a cube we already know that the dimensions are the same the length is the same the width is the same the heights are the same they have the same dimensions hence it is a cube and not a rectangular prism and because then the length the height and the width are the same all right and we know it's a cube we can therefore just to help us calculate the surface area of that cube we just know we've got six faces if you are given a closed cube and you just take that six multiplied by just the area of one of those faces and that just gives you the total um surface area of that cube and we also looked at an example just to help us apply that concept also very important the units of measurement for surface area guys i did mention it is unit squared okay we are actually calculating area but you're just calculating the total areas if you are given a 3d shape so the units is unit squared in other words kilometer squared millimeter squared uh thank you okay so it's 
so it's kilometers squared millimeters squared um centimeters squared a um, meter squared those are the units of measurement that we use for surface area okay and that is it for today's video tutorial guys hope you guys enjoyed it in the next video tutorial guys we're going to be jumping straight into calculating volume okay after these video tutorials guys when i go into my past paper video tutorials they're going to be smooth sailing because you guys would now understand the in-depth meaning of volume perimeter area surface area okay and i can also just refer you guys to these video tutorials to basically help you um if you're struggling with those concepts okay so this is where i'm going to wrap it up guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys on my next tutorial that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.